Nine times out of ten, whatever you have in your head, it's it, it doesn't translate. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Why do you have think every single artist type or creative type they say the same thing? Why? Why doesn't it translate? Uh. So what uh what beat are you making right now? Good question. I'm. I don't know. <laughs> we're about to find that out. <laughs> I have no idea what we're about to do. I got an idea, but we'll see. Honestly, I always start with the melody. I feel like, cause here, here's the thing with drums, like we all listen to music, right? And I'm pretty sure with drums, you realize that a lot of times it's the same beat over and over. And that's the thing. So like, I normally start with melodies because with the drum beat, I can do the same drum beat literally on three different records that I make. And it'll be completely three different records based off the melody and, and, and the keyboard, you know? Let's get the tempo. This right here is a click, tempo, metronome, whatever you call it. What this does is just keeps the beat and time. So you know how fast you wanna go. Uh, record. And you know, when you record it, you can make a little loop. Am I a fan? I don't know, we'll figure it out. So <clears throat> you can use stock plugins. Stock plugins are literally all the stuff that comes with the program you deal with. Or you can use uh, outsource plugins. I like this particular plugin that I actually <laughs> found off Instagram called Track Guide. And it, shout out Track Guide. This thing literally has a whole bunch of sounds, very easy. Nice interface to actually work with, and sky's the limit. It's just definitely good and helps juggle my creativity when I get stuck. If you don't know how to play keys, <laughs> you go to piano slash keyboard And what you can do is you can pull up the key that you are in, and it tells you all the chords. And then if you don't, you know, if you want to find notes in that same chord progression or the scale, it gives you the scale. And then you pick your sound and you see the keys you can use or in the keys you can't use. And then you go from there. Not feeling none of these bases. And sometimes you get jaded when you make songs, you know? <laughs> you just listen and be like, ah, this ain't the direction I'm going in. Sometimes you may want to just stop, but we'll keep going. Is it more the case that like you're not searching for what you want, but just removing what you don't want? Or? I mean, tip, essentially, yeah. Uh, nine times out of 10, whatever you have in your head, it's it, it doesn't translate. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Why do you think- every single artist type or creative type they say the same thing why why doesn't it translate uh i guess the truth would be all artists believe in perfection and because it, uh, perfection is really a myth it never translate you know like, I, I may have this idea that i think is oh yeah this is it this is it you know everything that i'm going to use and then it just doesn't it doesn't come out that way. And I don't know. I, I think would I think it's a, it's a beauty in that though, because the beauty is it forces you to think differently and not always be attached to something. I think with, with music, majority of times we fall in love with things, but the consumer, they always like the stuff that you hate. <clears throat> this is the part that a lot of producers don't talk about. <laughs> For hours you'll spend just listening to claps or sneers, which we're about to go right now. <laughs> OK. 
kind of like this one. So what I could do is play it. And I could play the song. All right. Then I could bring splice up and just make sure the clap works. What I normally do with the kick is I'll make like an eight bar loop. And I'll figure out the pattern or whatever. So I'll go. Now, <clears throat> what I normally do is once I'll do the kick, snare, then I'll add hi-hats that way I can turn my metronome off so that's not annoying. The hi-hats is typically what keeps the rhythm anyway. So you can either draw these in or you can perform them. I like to perform them. And then when I get annoyed, I'll draw them. <laughs> so <clears throat> I like the bounce on the hi-hats. I'm just gonna add a couple rows and to add the rows, I'll draw those in. What you can do is you see where you want it. And then I can uh, use a brush tool. Brush to use there. Now, make it go for a minute. Then I'll uh, try to arrange something. So what I can do is I'll take you out. Take you out. Take you out. And what I may start with, be like. I think I think finishing it is probably the hardest part about making the music. I mean, listen, making an eight bar loop, making making it sound good for the moment, but making it a complete song is two completely different things. Cause like I can make something and it sounds really cool for eight, but when I listen to it for 16, I'm just like, turn it off. So well, my last question will be, what determines it's completed? Oh, well, you got something. Um, that's a good question. Uh, I don't even know how to answer that because I guess that's, that'd be based on the individual for the, for the most part, but what determines its completeness to me is when I listen to it on the computer or you know the big speakers, if I go to my car, or if I want to just, if I have it on repeat and I feel like, all right, I'm satisfied with it, that normally determines it.